Three five eco boost. What's wrong with it? To you guys, that might have sounded bad. To me though, sounded like money. Sounded like a lot of money. Well, today we're gonna to talk about the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, more specific, the second gen 3.5 EcoBoost. The 3.5 has been powering the F-150 since 2011. It's not the only engine option, but it is the main engine option. It's what you get if you buy a limited or a top of the line F-150. This is what they call the premium engine option. So after several years of living and learning on the first generation 3.5 EcoBoost, they came out in 2017 with the second gen 3.5 EcoBoost. The Expedition received the second gen 3.5 EcoBoost a little bit later the next year in 2018. The second generation 3.5 did fix a lot of the common issues that plagued the first generation 3.5, such as leaking coolant fittings, leaking vacuum pumps, broken exhaust manifold studs, and many, many more problems that we've seen on the first generation 3.5. Ford, however, in their infinite wisdom, did create a much, much bigger problem on the second gen 3.5. That is the problem you heard in the beginning of this video. The cold start rattle, cam phaser rattle, whatever you wanna call it. That noise, that rattle that you heard has officially became the soundtrack of the 3.5 EcoBoost after how many of these things they made with this problem. If you search 3.5 cold start rattle, you'll find many, many videos and articles about this problem. You'll probably even see this beautiful face a few times. The dreaded cam phaser rattle is definitely a when problem, not an if problem. It is not something if this happens, it is a when this happens. It will happen to every single one of these engines that had these early style cam phasers in them. So every single 3.5 produced between 2017 and 2019 had this issue. They updated the cam phasers on the supply line late 2019. So most of the 2020 models actually received the updated cam phasers uh, before they were sold. Now for several years, they did not have a permanent solution, but luckily they eventually came around and gave us the updated cam phaser, which 100% fixes this problem. I've made several videos talking about the differences between the new updated cam phaser and the original that had all of the cold start rattle problems. Now, when these first come out, Ford didn't really know what was going on, I don't think, so they tried several different things to solve this problem. They had an update to update the PCM, which would basically just tell the solenoid to produce more oil pressure at startup and at idle to help with the cam phaser rattle. Unfortunately, that didn't really make a hill of beans, and even more unfortunately, uh, they actually created another shutter problem with that recall to update. So they ended up having to do a second recall if you had a shutter to revert it back to the original tuning. It was a whole fiasco. There was a lot of misinformation and things going around when these first come out. But luckily for us, at this point in time, 2025, and for the last few years, we have had a permanent solution to this problem. That is the updated cam phasers I mentioned earlier. Now this problem only happens on a cold start. It's usually worse the longer you let the vehicle sit. This is because the oil drains out of the cam phasers, out of the camshafts, and back down at the bottom of the engine. And it takes a second for this oil pressure to get back up there to the cam phasers to keep them from rattling. Now you can hold the gas pedal on the floor wide open throttle that will disable your fuel injection system. Disabling the fuel injection system will allow you to spin the engine over long enough for it to build oil pressure and stop the rattle. Now, I just don't think that that is a very good solution to the problem because, I mean, you pay $60,000, $70,000 for a truck, you should be able to crank it without having to spin it over for five seconds with the gas pedal on the floor just to create oil pressure to keep it from rattling. That's just, that's hooey. They don't sound right to me. I think this is a problem that should be fixed and I encourage every single person out there that has the cold start rattle to fix it before they develop into worse problems. Now it is, is very uncommon that this problem does develop into worse problems, but I have seen them go so long that the pin inside this rattling will actually beat out of the front of the case on the cam phaser. It can drop, fall in the bottom of your engine, can cause extreme damage if you let this problem go on for a long time. Now when I say a long time, I mean you can go months and months and months. The ones that I've seen fail are usually people that have went 30, 40, 50, 60,000 miles with the rattle. And when I say rattle, I mean extreme rattle, not something that's a very light noise like a lot of these I hear. So cam phasers is right at the top of the list of the most common repairs we do here at Flying Wrenches. The only thing I can think of that really takes the cake more than three, five cam phasers right now is the 10R80 transmissions. But cam phasers are definitely still running a close second. I do not see these slowing down for several years as well. There's just so many of them out there. There were hundreds of thousands of these engines produced 
and a lot of them still to this day have not had the updated cam phasers put in. So if you're looking to do this repair yourself, Ford does sell a cam phaser kit now. There's so many of these things being done that they actually have a one-stop shop box. Comes with everything you need, including an oil filter, bolts, gaskets, everything you need to do this repair in one box. There's a couple other little things maybe you might want to replace while you're there, like water pump thermostat that aren't included. Um, but if you're looking for one of these kits, I actually have them for sale right now, flyingwrenches.com. You can go check them out there. It'll be the 3.5 Gen 2 cam phaser repair kit. Um, ship them out. Like I said, if you guys are looking for one, we can definitely get you one. So if you're not looking to buy parts, you're just looking to get this repaired, you can contact this contact at flyingwrenches.com. I'll put that somewhere on the screen and this area here. Um, you can send us an email there. You can also send us a uh, form on our website if you're looking to have repairs done. We do this job. It's roughly 32, 3300 bucks plus tax. That is the entire job, labor parts and everything. So if you have a rattling 3.5, you're looking to get this done, hit us up. We can definitely get you taken care of. All right, guys, that's probably going to wrap us up for this video. I really just wanted to recap the second gen cam phaser rattle because even though it's been a while since they've made this engine, they are still tearing up every single day. And I want you guys to have the most recent information that I have about this problem. And the most recent information is replace your damn cam phasers when they start rattling. Get the updated ones and you won't have any more problems. All right, guys, if you haven't already liked the video, go down below, hit that like button. That is the one way that you can support this channel with absolutely no effort. It takes one click. If you're not subscribed, I don't know how I hadn't convinced you yet. I have gave you enough information in just this video alone to earn your subscription to the YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys watching and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.